Hey guys, gonna have a look at a vacuum tube today, in particular this Magic Eye. There's a few different types of these things. They basically act as a VU meter or a level indicator uh, for whatever you want to purpose them for. It can show you the strength of a signal, uh, how well your radio is tuned in, or a VU meter, which is how this one's configured. Basically, what it does is you got your voltage in the back, in the uh, terminals here, and your uh, your line level signal. And as the uh, the music plays, the display will dance just like a, a normal VU meter on any stereo. Just this one does it with a bit more class, I think. Anyway, so um, there's a few different types of these things. This one is a, a linear style where, it, when it's operating, the it it glows green and it grows from the top and bottom towards the center. There's another type where it grows up, like a standard VU style. There's other ones where you look into them on the end, kind of like this Decatron. Uh, Decatron is basically, it's got this, well this one's got 30 something dots and they light up orange. And you can make them pulse around and count and use it as memory or as an indicator or whatever. But the, um, the Magic Eye, these are the same configuration as this, you look in the end and it's got a, uh, a circle and it has different patterns so it could be segments growing around you know from the top and the bottom or from the sides top and bottom depending on how many segments it's configured with and there's a another common variant which is viewed the same way as this one where it's got an arch shape and it's got pie shapes which grow from the top and from the sides so it's all different designs just you know depending on what the look depending on the look you want. So um, we'll have a bit of a closer look at this module because it's actually pretty well made. Um, it's SMD construction, a double sided layout with the traces and the components just on the one side. It's made by Shaw Electronics. Uh, you can find their website. I just bought this one from eBay. I actually bought two because I want to have a stereo uh, display. So I have two of them, one for each channel. It actually runs on 12 volts AC or DC, so it has a, uh, a bridge rectifier which is just sitting here, which is handy because you can run it straight from a transformer. You don't have to have a separate bridge rectifier to run this if you're putting it into like an amplifier where you've got auxiliary taps. And then you've got just the uh, input, the line level input from the uh, for the audio. Just a screw down terminal there, easy as, so you just connect your 12 volts and then your line input and that's pretty much it. There's also a uh, control here, which is for your uh, level adjust, so you can tune it to whatever um, particular levels you're running, and that way you can make sure it's going to use the full display when you're reaching the full signal strength. So we'll, um, we'll plug it in and uh, turn on, I'll show you it running. So I've got my connections made here. You can see the uh, red and black goes to a PC power supply I've got, just the 12 volts, and we've got the signal wires coming in here. They're just going into the headphone jack on my laptop. You actually see a bit of an orange glow from underneath. That's not from the tube, that's from an LED. It seems to be the, all the rage these days to put LEDs under the tubes to give them that warm tube glow. Um, these things, these particular tubes don't really glow at all. I will show you there's one little point you can see a true um, glowing from inside from the filament, but yeah. Uh, at least it's not blue, I guess. I might pull it out, I might leave it. Um, the blue glow from the LEDs you see on, on these valve amps and whatnot, it really makes me laugh because if you have a valve that's glowing blue like that, it means it's gone gassy and it's going to fail. So putting blue LEDs underneath, yeah, it might look good to the, um, to the untrained eye, so to speak, but usually blue glow is bad. Um, if I turn around carefully, you can just see, just here, you can see that's the uh, the filament glowing. That's that's a true glow, it's not an LED or anything. So that's as much this one makes. Um, I don't know if I need the LED, but uh, we'll see how it grows on me. Alright, let's get this thing working. And um, I'll show you what it does. I'll turn the light off, and that should give you a bit of better look. You can see a slight glow on there already. I would like a, uh, a adjustment on there just to maybe turn that out, like a, a contrast adjustment if it was an 
LC display in on your 16 by 2 LC displays like these. You can see this one's got a contrast adjustment just here. You know, so you can make the display nice and crispy and you know easy to see but not too washed out and not too dark. It would be nice to have something on there just to get rid of that glow so it's completely off until it starts dancing. But I'll probably reverse engineer the circuit a bit and see if there's a resistor I can swap or something. But for now, we'll get some music playing. I've just got it plugged into my laptop so you won't be able to hear the music but we'll see the we'll see the display dancing. So basically that's it in operation. So I think it looks pretty good. I really like the old gassy and glowy electronics. So I'm gonna have um, two of those lined up for the stereo, the stereo effect, and I'll um, I'm planning to put them into a uh, a valve amplifier, which I'm just at the starting stages of building. I've got a few other projects I've got to finish first, but yeah, I think it looks pretty cool, and it's a uh, quite a well built module that's just basically plug and play. Alright, we'll see you next time.